You're watching the 2024 SCAC Tennis Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the University of St. Thomas Kelts men's and women's tennis programs. Kelts will be led as they head into the season. Once again, another guy is the head coach, Jack Brasington, along with leadership from senior Stephen Kwong on the men's side and sophomore Lucia Rodriguez on the women's side. Coach Stephen, Lucia, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having us. It's a pleasure. Coach, we'll open up with you heading into this new season. I, I'm just interested in how proud you are of, of the growth of the growth of these two programs. We think back, you know, the, the the inaugural head coach starting these two programs from the ground up that first season back in 2019, 20. And then, of course, all the challenges that we all faced, you know, uh, over the course of those next few years. And now to be coming off back to back semifinal appearances for both of these teams. You know, how proud are you of the growth that's happened over these last three years and a few years? And how excited are you to be back here with these two groups and, and heading into a new season? Yeah, it's been super special. I mean, to be able to come here and start a program, tennis program, and just, uh, you know, I mean, that first season, but all the all the the guys that and the girls were here just starting that new team. And, you know, and then COVID hits. There's a lot of like things. And so, but that's life, right? You have your, all your challenges and all, but but just being it's special, you know, a new program, uh, a way to bring in, you know, new players and to start it off. And we, we really did a good job as far as bringing in a strong team to start. Um, we were like third or fourth in that con in the conference. So that was a good, great start for us. And then, you know, now my fifth year, you know, those uh, players had graduated, most of them. And now it's a new wave. You know, I have two freshmen there on the uh, men's side and one on the on the women's side and, and more coming in next year, but, you know, it's definitely, you, you see the changes and, and how you grow each year, what, you know, what is success and how we look at that in our goals as we, as we play uh, every day. So. Steven coming into yeah. your second season there with St. Thomas having transferred in, you know, how did that transition gone? How has that gone for you? over the course of these last two years, how important was kind of going through that first season with this group last year? And did that give you confidence coming into the second year with this group heading into this season? Yes, absolutely. Um, tra transition was great. It was very smooth that the coach gave us a lot of accessibilities and, you know, being, uh, he was being a, you know, former um, pro players that he was able to give us a lot of experience on the tour, um, oh, yeah. along with, you know, college tennis experience wise. Um, and since my last school was in the um, up north and it was quite cold and then I, I somehow grew up in Florida so that, you know, Houston is more of a similar place where I grew up, which I can perform my best. And obviously coach trust me quite a bit <laughs> that I was able to, uh, you know, do what I love and that does, does that. Lucia, coming into this season, coming off of last year, you know, battling through an injury and now arriving in your first year at the collegiate level, you know, what did you learn over the course of kind of going through last season, battling through that injury? How much did you grow to maybe appreciate the spot that you're now back playing with this team? And what are you most excited about heading into the year? Um, well, yeah, I've been dealing with this injury for many years. So last year I had to take the year off, but I'm so happy to finally be able to come back and like do what I love. I've been training for it all my life. So it's what I've always wanted to do. So it's just, I love competing. So it makes me really excited to be a part of a team that just brings so much positive energy to the court, especially like even at practice, just a great way to be a part of something and doing something I love with amazing people. So hopefully the season goes great and all I can do is hope for the best. You know, Coach, one of the things I think that's really unique about uh, tennis at our college level is, you know, kind of embracing the individuality that is tennis, but coming together with this team dynamic in the end through all these different individual efforts. How have you kind of, you know, embraced that yourself? Where do you find, you know, challenges within that? And, and how do you kind of face those challenges as a coach when you do have a lot of individualness, but at the end, it does come together in this team, uh, you know, competition? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's always a challenge. Uh, uh... Um, it's kind of the beauty of tennis in a way it's the individual which I love about the sport but yet in a team sport you know how do we put that together and I see that so much in doubles um, I try not to treat every player the same you know Steven's got things he's working on different from Lucia and so I try to address them separately but there's some kind of broader things that are 
kind of common themes that we still need to work on. Um, I think for us, it was in the beginning, um, it was just about, especially in the beginning of a season, it's, it's, it's about doubles and trying to figure out pairings, especially with new, pair, uh, new players coming in. So um, trying to figure that out. Um, and also, you know, getting the team together, making it more of a team spirit, team atmosphere, which is, you know, it's about fun. It's about getting together. I love our road trips. I thought we did a great job in Waco this, this again, past weekend, played two teams and um, it was great. We, we got two W's, uh, just these matches really, you know, and being on the road, they really kind of everyone together and just make us closer. So um, you, you to balance that out uh the individual versus the team um definitely learned out i played for under snyder and um just being a team player especially in college steven you talked a little bit about that transition now as we you know speak specifically to your game making a big jump this season last year kind of at that line four single spot and now to that top n number one singles position you know how have you embraced that challenge what have you uh noticed maybe differently about your mentality going into these matches and you know just overall where is your game at right now as you get ready to, to head into to the bulk of the season right um of course that everybody knows that given the fact that we lost you know the entire uh, first first years right I mean the senior class so that was a big you know we, we missed those guys um, but and then another thing in terms of um, big transitioning for like you said from four to one it's a uh, it's a very big responsibility because um, in my point of view it is the first line of defense and it is the last line of defense so it's a sort of the mentality there um, that I need to um, stick there for the team um, it's pretty much you know, if you know, if we are breaking down to 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 daily training, and I say it's uh, day in day out, every single day without missing anything, try to work hard every single day, and that's pretty pretty much pretty much pretty much it. Lucia, as you've grown into your tennis career, I'm interested. Um, maybe not your favorite, but are there some pro players that you really enjoyed watching uh, over your career that? Um, you know, maybe you've tried to take away some of the things that they've done well uh, specifically and apply them to your game and help it improve your confidence, uh, you know, as, as you've grown into the player that you've become. Um, As a Spaniard, this is definitely biased, but Rafael Nadal and Carlos Alcaraz, but also not just because of that, but whenever you watch them, you can definitely tell they love what they're doing. And even when they're losing, they like, keep calm and you can tell they're enjoying their time on the court. Like if you watch Alcaraz closely, even when he's down, if he plays a good point and loses the point, he's still smiling on the sidelines. He's having a great time. He's putting on a show while doing what he loves. And that's just all I want to do. I would definitely want to learn that from him, be able to like control myself more on the court. And, but no, definitely, definitely Alcaraz and Nadal have both just, shown me what I want to be as a player. No, Coach, you've talked about, uh, you know, the course of college, of course, as, as teams move on and players graduate and bringing in new folks into the fold as you've built these programs. I'm interested just, you know, what are some things that you look from from, from your freshman group uh, as they transition and make that jump from sort of that high school level to their first year of college? Are there things that you're hoping they pick up on early or or parts of your program that you hope to really integrate the, integrate them in early on to, to give them confidence to be able to to make a big impact within their group in, in that first year? Yeah, definitely. Um, well, you kind of look after the freshmen a little bit more. Uh, you know, one thing that's super helpful is naming the, the team captains. We have two ca team captains on the men and the women's side, and they – a lot of times I go to them and just say, hey, hey, guys, you know, like we, we got to really, you know, try to encourage this and try to do this. And they they help with, you know, kind of pumping up the team and kind of leading them. Uh, but also the upperclassmen, you know, Lucia and Steven, they they're leaders and um, it's great to have them. You know, when you recruit about that, you know, you think about, OK, you've had these players on the team. Now, what, what are you looking for for future players on the team, you know, and and that you want, you know, and, and both of them, they work super hard, but besides the working hard, they're, they're very, very good with their teammates, their team players. Um, you know, Lucia, she's, she's awesome. Like, I love her spirit. She's like a go-getter. Oh, great. Um, Steven, you know, super, you know, works hard. will do anything team. So it, it's just really special to have them both. And I, I think the big thing too, is, you know, we both have a lot of respect for each other. 
And uh, I think we'll do as much as we can for each other. And, and I think that's so important to have on, on a team. Finally, as we wrap up with our two student athletes, Stephen and Lucia, when you've had conversations uh, with, with some of your teammates and some of the other leaders within your group about some of the goals and expectations for your two teams coming into the season, what have those conversations looked like? And ultimately, you know, what is going to be key to accomplishing those things heading into the year? Well, as a team, obviously, we want results and stuff. So I'll always be pumping up your team. Give them, if you see they're not putting in just tell them like, Hey, like we're here goals. Like we have standards that we want to meet. And also if you're having a bad tennis day or if the results aren't going the way you want, still you, the one thing you want is you always want to look like a team. Doesn't matter the score, always be cheering yourself on, always be a positive uh, energy outside. Make sure that everybody can see like you're sticking up for your team, no matter what the score is, just always be a team player, always be supporting. And that's honestly all you can look for in a team. So. Yeah, I really like how uh, Lucia was um, you know, describing those points, and I just like to I would just like to add something on it, which you know I um every time I'm in the playing practice, I'm trying to push them more. I need more. I need more. I need more. You you're not you cannot limit yourself at where you are. Let's just say, oh, I'm playing amazing tennis today, but okay, what about tomorrow? Right, and then I wanted to add that little bit of pressure into my teammates that you know there are obstacles out there that you have to conquer. Right, I just keep trying to push them every single day, even for a little bit more. And finally, coach, as we wrap up with you, uh, you know, success in our world obviously can be measured in a bunch of different ways, and and the results at times can certainly be you know black and white. But there's tons of different ways to quantify success. So when you talk about success with your groups, you know, how do you kind of put the framework on, on that conversation? And ultimately, you know, 2024 looks successful for these teams if what plays out over the next few months. Yeah, definitely. Um, good point. Definition on words uh, is huge. Um, you know, what success means to me is different from you. I think for me with the team, um, it's really individual. I really focus on, on maybe Steven needs to, you know, work a little bit more on the change in or his movement. Um, you know, Lucia, you know, the volleys or bigger serve, not bigger, sorry. Uh, more accurate serve. She needs to control herself a little bit more. <laughs> Sorry. So, anyways, um, but I think that's important. Um, I think I think every year we we talk about what you know, like you know, it's just you know the answers. I mean, you, you fundamentally you have to sit down. What are your goals? And then you 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 step by step. How are we going to get there? I, I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, right? And then you got to work. You got to spend the time. So um, so that's kind of basically. It's it's all there, and now you just gotta take the time and do it. And while you do it, you gotta okay, well that worked, that didn't work. You gotta adjust, you don't adjust. But um, so that's kind of how I think success is. And I, you know what I love about college tennis um, is look at I mean these answers that they're having right here. You know, like that's gonna transcend into after college. I mean, being a team player. I mean, you know, this kind of thing these concepts and these ideas that they get now, like they're going to use in their jobs later. I mean, it's, it's so great. Tennis is so relatable to after, after college, you know, I mean, even during when they're in class and they have like team team things, but, but um, anyways, it's, it's just, I love what I do. I'm, I'm honored to be here and it's just great to be a part of the team with, with them and, and the other team players and uh, super, super fun. University of St. Thomas men's and women's tennis programs. Again, the Celts will be led as they head into the season under the guidance of head coach Shaq Brazington, along with leadership from senior Stephen Kwong on the men's side and sophomore Lucia Rodriguez on the women's side. Coach Stephen, Lucia, thanks so much for your time today. Best of luck as you head into the season. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks. Go Celts. Go Celts. Go Celts.